Hey everyone, Jerstagram10 here, and I am so happy to be making this video. Today we're going to be unboxing the Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master lens, and I've been waiting quite a while for this. I've had the lens on back order for probably about the last six weeks now, and I literally just got it today. So I'm super excited to be able to share this with you. This is what we're going to be unboxing and I cannot wait. Also make sure to stick to the end of the video and I'll show you some test photos as well. I'm planning on going out after this and taking lots of photos. So I'll throw them into the video just so you can see what the quality is like. But let's not delay any further. Let's get right into this. So comes in a nice uh, box, smaller than what I thought it would be. Um, but it is your typical Sony box with the orange, um, but it is black because it is a G Master box, which is always nice. My first G Master lens. Um, so let's open it up and we shall see what's inside. So we have a nice case. I'm assuming the lens is in there because the box is pretty empty. Um, there are some, let me see, some books and stuff. I'm sure there's warranties, uh, things like that. So. Um, yeah, we don't really need them, but uh, yeah, that's the box, nice box. But here is the main event. So I'm liking the carry case. Uh, it's got a belt strap on the back here, and there's two loop connections here as well. So I'm assuming that you'll be able to rig it up to um, like a uh, carry strap, um, and they have like a nice handle on top as well. Boom. Um, oh yeah, look. So there's a nice zip here, it zips down, nice. And this is the lens, let's have a look. So there's the lens, I'll put that aside for a second. Then we have the hood. So, nice, nice hood. It is a ALC SH154 hood. It's got a nice little clip as well, so you can kind of, it, will definitely stay in there when it clips. Uh, if you can see that there. So I'll put that aside. We'll say goodbye to the bag for now. And here is the main event. Nicely wrapped in some nice bubble wrap. And there it is. So only 24 millimeter F1.4 G Master Lens. OMG. <laughs> Um, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I presumed because it was an f1.4 that um, it would be the, the lens, the glass would actually be larger on the front element. Um, so I'm quite uh, pleasantly surprised that it is actually um, as small as it is. It doesn't actually weigh that much as well. It's quite light in comparison to say my Sigma lenses, which weigh a ton. So uh, yeah, that's nice. Um, on the side here, we've got the D-click button. So that means you can, with the aperture ring, which is here, see that we've got a nice aperture ring, but it does have quite a, it's quite clicky, but if I turn off the click, it's absolutely silent. So that'll be handy for uh, shooting video and stuff like that as well, when you can't have any clicks. Um, so it's great to be able to D-click the lens. And then of course you've got your autofocus um, or manual focus toggle switch and then this is your focus lock button as well as far as I know but you can fully customize that um, on the camera. Uh, I'll be using uh, probably setting that to IAF on my A7 III whenever I put this lens on. So at the back we've got the rear cover which is your standard Sony. Um, brand grey E mount blah 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 and then a nice lens cap 67 mil thread um, which is nice because most of my filters are actually 67 millimeters so they will absolutely fit on this which is great um, and here it is um, so yeah Sony FE 24 millimeter f 1.4 G master lens See if I can show you now as well. If I change, 
Um, oh, it's not. This costs quite a bit of money actually uh, because it's in such high demand and it's a G Master lens. Um, I was able to purchase it for, I think it was almost 1600 euro. So yeah, it's not cheap, but it is absolutely very well worth it. So make sure to stick around until the end. I am going to go and stick this on my camera now, go out and take some test photos, see how we get on with it. I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video as well. Hit that like button for the Sony 24mm G Master lens. My first ever G Master. Probably not going to be my last, but I can't see myself adding to my collection anytime soon. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to stick around. I'll throw up some of the sample images that I managed to capture. Leave me a comment, let me know if you have a G Master lens, what G Master lens you have, what's your favorite G Master lens, or if you're really excited to get one, or if you don't have one and you'd love to get one, let me know which one that is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video.